TechSelf has been around for around 20 years now. It started with basic reading and writing supports to help kids that just needed some extra help whenever they're reading, students with dyslexia for example. Came a long way since then. Uh, over time we added more tools to that. Uh, we've integrated in with, with Google and uh, more so with Microsoft products as well. Over that time now we have over 13 million students that's using our literacy toolbar and most recently we've moved into the area of math. So that's kind of the newest thing for us and we're making math supports now as well. We wanted to make a way teachers could create digital math super easy, share that math with students. Students could understand it if they use tools like read and write, they could have it read aloud. And then when they're ready, they can respond with math. And also it would be digital and they can send it back in and share it and get feedback. And so with Equatio, we've developed that support. So you can use it in Google Docs and Microsoft Word. You can use it in Google Forms as well. Just a really easy way to create math and respond to math. If I wanted to create an equation with Equatio, uh, I can just click on the toolbar down here. There's a few different ways to do it. I can just start typing. So if I wanted to say 6x squared, for example, if I don't know how to make the squared symbol pop up, all I have to do is type SQ, and it shows me, are you trying to do squared, square root? What are you trying to do? So I can say squared, I can click on it or press enter, automatically inserts the square. And if I want to put this over something, that's a difficult thing to do if you're trying to just do that in, a, in any kind of document. Now I can say over, OV, you can click or hit enter, puts it over, 4x or whatever it may be, and now you can insert that math directly into the Google document. It's accessible. If I was using read and write, I could have that read aloud. There's a whole thing around math fluency, just knowing how to read equations and things like that. So Equatio will help with that. I showed how to do that by typing. You could also do it with handwriting recognition. So if you've got a touch screen, you can just write and it'll automatically recognize whatever it is that you're writing. You could also use dictation. So if you want to use speech input, just speak whatever the equation is that you would like to insert. We've integrated Desmos graphing directly into Equatio. So Desmos is the best known uh, tool for doing digital graphs. Uh, so that's integrated right in with Equatio as well. So you can go and create your graphs and uh, insert that right into the Google Doc as well. On the literacy front, there's always been tools to help students who need help with reading. Um, but they've always been separate. So you'd need one tool to help with reading, one tool to help with writing, one tool to help with spelling. What we do is we try to combine all those tools in the one easy, simple to use toolbar that is wherever students go, whenever they use it. And that's one of the things that really separates us from others. You see the little puzzle piece at the top of my Google Doc. If I click on it, if I need any text read aloud, all I have to do is click, push the play button, and it'll read out loud. You can do everything that you would think you'd want to do with this sort of thing. You can speed it up, you can slow it down, you can change the voice, uh, all those sort of things. And if you're not sure what a word is, you can always click on a word and get a definition of the word. You can have the definition read aloud if you'd like. You can even have a, an image, we call it a picture dictionary, so an image definition of the word. So basically lots of different ways that a, if a student needed help knowing what a word is or reading complex text, you'd have all these tools available. Now that of course is three features out of the dozen or more features that are on here. But the idea is that you have this toolbar with all these tools on it that you can use in Google Docs. You could use it in PDFs. You can use it when on the web, on any web page, uh, and access any of those kind of tools. Uh, RyQ is another support. One of the things we want to do at TextHelp is make teachers' lives easier. Teachers are busy. We know that. Um, Take the simple act, or I don't know, I don't know if I'd call it a simple act, take the act of scoring a student's writing. They write a paper and turn that in. How long does that take a teacher if you have 30, or 30 students in five different classes? How long does it take to score all those? So one of the newest things we have is RyQ. And RyQ is a little add-on for Google Docs that allows teachers to easily go and assess student writing. It tracks their progress over time. It takes a lot of that busy work out, gives teachers the ability to give them feedback. Uh, so we're always looking into how can we make the teacher's life easier and more efficient. We know that teachers need to understand how our products work and they need to be able to use those. We make sure, for example, with Read and Write and Equatio, we make sure that those are free for teachers forever. So teachers can just go to our website, they can go to, for example, texthelp.com slash products. They can, uh, they can view our products, they'll see how they work, what they are. And again, you can go and sign up if you're a teacher, you get access for free. All the premium features, can use it for as long as you want excellent support videos and, and all that kind of stuff.